Please put your hands together for Evan Shaffrey! Yeah! What is up, guys? How are you tonight? Doing well? You guys are still awake? I took a power nap back there. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't. But you guys are amazing for hanging in there. Um, oh, no cap. I'm going to take that away. Uh, no cap. I'm getting better. That was, did that sound believable? I'm trying to say no cap. All the kids are saying no cap. I come from uh, the East Coast. Uh, loved hip hop and grew up in the early 90s hip hop scene. Uh, we did a lot of, we say dope, we say fresh, we say ill. Those I have no problem saying and feeling comfortable. When my college friends and I are on a group chat, we were talking recently about how we can't say no cap, like, you know, from the heart. It's not, it doesn't sound honest. Because when I read no cap too, I was like, no cap, like, does, why are kids talking about taking their hat off? I don't know. Uh, also, like, does it mean no, like, no capitalization? I didn't really understand. And then someone wrote no cap in all caps. And I was like, what the fuck is happening? I don't understand the kids. I don't understand the hip hop, but uh, it is what it is. I feel like my dad now, I used to, you know, he used to be like, I don't understand what they're saying. I really don't, I don't understand most of the shit that they're saying. And I, I make hip hop still, and I don't, I don't know what they're saying. I know what I'm saying. I sound like 94-ish. I'm a little behind with the times. Um, I'm sure you noticed my bald head. Uh, Eric Schwartz took all my jokes, so. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, he said we're getting more face. Like my, my dad likes to say we're getting more head. So that's how I like to look at it. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, I, I did get lucky this year. I was in, in Barbie. I got to hold Margot Robbie's hand for 15 hours. It was, true story, I'm not fun with you. It was her birthday that day. So I'm dressed as a police officer. The bald head gets you a lot of police officer roles. Paramedic, I get that a lot. DA agent. Um, Anything that is normally associated with a bald man. Um, I haven't been Lex Luthor, like, more like Lex Juther. I would have been. Uh, people have to say I look like a Jew Rogan. I get that sometimes. Okay. If Pete Davidson was doing really well, I could get that. If uh, Robert Downey Jr. was in treatment for chemo. Uh, no, no, that one's tough. He's doing well though, so don't worry. Uh, but uh, he basically, uh, I got to go on set, hold her hand. Uh, it was her birthday. In between shots, she changed costumes. So I got to see, you know, rollerblading Barbie, and I got to hold um, cowgirl Barbie's hand, both Barbies. Um, so I grew up, my mom loved Barbie. So I wasn't even allowed to, she had the original carrying case with Barbie, and we couldn't touch it. So I knew, like, when I was holding her hand, I had to call my family, I had to tell everybody, um, the first thing that my cousin asked me was, uh, can I smell your hand? And, uh, he is, this was like post but he's early 20s now, so he had no excuse. He wasn't a horny teenager. Um, one guy asked me if I would give him a hand job. I said, how much? And the strike was tough, guys. Was, you know what? Take one. You can only eat so much Domino pizza, you know? Domino's pizza and bagels. We love bagels. Some, one of the Jews was like, just give them bagels. They're gonna be stoked. <laughs> Fucking starving Jewish actors want bagels. We do. Smoked salmon, we love it. Um, anyway, I'm getting off the, I'm just hungry, I think. Um, so I'm working with Margot Robbie. Uh, she smells my hand uh, and I smell hers and I'm driving home. It did smell amazing in my car, I'm not gonna lie. It was like, a, it smelled like an A-lister. I don't know if you guys ever smelled an A-lister. Kind of smells like my butthole. Um, but they smell amazing. It smells like, my asshole smells like roses. Anyway, so I also get, I look like a young Alan Arkin. I don't know if you guys see that. Um, I mean, that's not a joke. You're laughing. Man. Like, laugh if you want. I'm not going to tell you not to laugh, but that was not a joke. Uh, I get that. Um, so I'm working with Eddie Murphy. I play his next door neighbor in, in Candy Cane Lane. So he's walking up next to me every day. Every day he's walking by me. And I adore that. He's like, my favorite comedian to ever do Jew face. Besides Bradley Cooper and Maestro, currently. Um, you laugh at the Alan Arkin thing, but not that? All right. I still love you guys. Um, so basically, every day he's saying hello. I'm saying, hey, Eddie, good morning. And I get the head nod, but I don't get hello. For two months. For two months. But then my friend reminds me, which made me feel a lot better. You know when you see someone that you hate, 
and it's not even them, it's, it's, they remind you of someone you hate, they look like them. In 2007, Alan Arkin won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for Little Miss Sunshine. You see where I'm going here? In 2007, Eddie Murphy did not win the Best Supporting Actor for Dreamgirls. He's been, he's been pretty upset about it since then. Every, everybody kind of knows that, it's a thing. It's a thing. So, in my mind, I'm like, you know what? People talk a lot of shit, celebrities are dicks. You don't know what someone's going through, with it, what's happening in the back of their mind. He's walking by me every day, and his subconscious is going, fuck Alan Arkin! <laughs> fuck Alan Arkin! I'm like, hey Eddie, good morning, good to see you, buddy. And he's like, this motherfucker, why is this motherfucker on my set? Why is this motherfucker on my set? So today, I was able to work on Beverly Hills Cop 4. Yeah, I had my shot, it was coming. Thank you, universe. So I get there, um, I, I was also hoping to see Judge Reinhold, okay. who's not there. Judgment free zone. Um, told you that one more than Pete. <laughs> Pete was like, say the judgment free one. No one knows who Judge Reinhold is anymore. Vice versa, Fred Savage, <laughs> classic. Anyway, um, so I get there, Eddie Murphy's standing there. I walk up to him, I'm like this is my moment. I walk up, I walk up. The guy turns around, it's his body double. No cap. Thank you guys. My name is Evan Shepard, and I appreciate you. Oh my goodness. I want to smell lots of parts of his body. Uh, okay, guys, this next comic is from Chicago. 